Hi, it's a lipstick gal. Thank you so much for watching today. I wanted to try something that just arrived in the mail. They are the puff paints from Natasha Denona. There are three shades and I got them all. Um, I don't have any lipstick on or cheek products on because I wanted to try all of these on for you and I'll just give you my initial first impression. And of course, I'll always check back with you and let you know what I think is good or not good about them in a matter of weeks. All right, thanks so much for watching. Thank you for being subscribed. So I love that there's three of these. I, I kind of think that maybe I'm gonna go in this order from like the neutral neutraliest one to the most vivid. And these are supposed to be a serum blush that are buildable, uh, pigmented, they have skin loving qualities to them so that you have kind of hydrated, glowy looking skin. This shade here is called Tan. Everyone's coming out with a serum blush, a glowy blush. Ooh, look at the applicator. It has a little bit of a curve to it. It's supposed to pull out the perfect amount. We, ooh, swatch it. Look at that, that's pretty. All right, so cross your fingers, let's, let's do this. I wanna know what this blends like with just my fingers. Oh, very nicely. Hello, beautiful blush. This is supposed to be kind of like mistake proof. I guess I'll be the judge of that, but so far it, it, it seems pretty easy with just fingers. It says you can wear it on top of foundation or on bare skin. Oh, very pretty. I really haven't tried a lot of the serum blushes out there. I know that um, there is a new serum blush from ColourPop. Um, my favorite one is the one from M. I use that fairly regularly on light makeup days where I'm not wearing foundation, I'm not wearing powder, I just need a little bit of hydrated glow. And it definitely is a little bit more, it, it has a little bit more hydration feeling to it. This doesn't feel dry, but it dries down. I like that because I feel like, um, you know, if you were to hold your phone to your face, you might get Serum foundation from M transferring off. I think this may not transfer after it's fully set. I kind of get the idea that it sets. Oh, it's so pretty. Does this work on lips too? Let's find out. Oh, I like this. I like this a lot. So this is the shade tan. This next shade is a really pretty one. This is the one I instantly gravitated towards. This one's called Daria. You can see the shine here, but I feel like once you tap it in, you're not getting that same level of shine. But let's start by just adding a little bit. This is my type of color where it's kind of like a peachy coral. It's, it's not too, you know, cheeks on fire. It's not too sunburnt, but it's very, oh, so pretty. I definitely feel like you can't really overdo this. I frequently end up in clown territory. I'm, I'm not gonna tell you that I don't. I do love kind of like that sunburnt cheek look, but this is gorgeous. Hello. Hello, Natasha Denona. I see you, I like what you're doing. Let's put a little bit of this on the lips as well. And I think instead of just using this to straight this way, I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand. And I'll use my finger. I love how easy these are to blend. They just kind of, I feel like these are gonna be great for however you wanna wear them. I've been putting them over just a light layer of foundation and a little bit of powder, and I don't feel like they're picking up what's underneath. I'm not wearing like a really heavy, full glam sort of you know base today. It's very much uh, just to cover up the redness that I have on my cheeks and a little bit of powder to set it. So it works well over a powdered face. Um, the other thing that I like so far is that with my fingers, I can do the majority of blending and you can also just use a damp sponge and that works beautifully as well too. I don't know that they're intended for the lips. I was checking on her website and it didn't say, you know, for cheeks and lips, but I use a lot of my liquid cheek products or my cream cheek products on my lips as well for a monochromatic look. I just general ease and I feel like they do work. I don't know, maybe what I need to do is start like mixing them together, but I'm pretty impressed so far. Let's try the last one. 
This last shade is called Bloom. It is absolutely stunning in the bottle, but she's pretty intense. I don't know what this is gonna look like. Let's just see what happens. I almost feel like it would be smarter for me to put it on the back of my hand and then go in, but you're supposed to not get too much product on the applicator. You're supposed to be able to dot it on and go. So let's try that. It's definitely a more intense shade. This might be where blending with a sponge might be helpful. Wow. It went from scary to, um, this might not have been a good idea to like gorgeous. Oh, I like this. I do feel like, um, because they do dry down, especially if you're using a shade that, like this one's a little intense for me, I want to make sure to get it blended in before it sets. Because I definitely feel like this could definitely set if I'm not careful. I feel like now that I have this fully blended in, this one I feel gave me just a moment of panic because it is a lot deeper. And I'm glad that there is a blush that's gonna work on richer skin tones and because I definitely feel like this one wouldn't work for everybody. I feel like this one also wouldn't work for everybody. I like this formula a lot, a lot, a lot. I don't know, I'm kind of stuck between these two as my faves, but I could definitely see myself like concocting like all three of these, like mixing them together or maybe, you know, like these two together or these two together, maybe even these two together, like however, and creating like a my own personalized color on the back of my hand and then tapping it on. I totally see myself doing that. I really do also like the applicator on these because the applicator, it does continue to pick up just a little bit. You can see there's kind of a stripe down the middle and down the back, but it's not too much. And it has a really soft, fluffy, velvety texture. And I feel like you can dot on what you need and it's not, it's not hard. The other thing is I feel like they blend really easily. Okay, so first impression, two thumbs way up. Totally love this, I guess two thumbs way up. I think these are great. I like how easy they were to blend. I like how skin-like they look. I like that they don't feel sticky or tacky or um, they don't look overly glowy. Let's just throw a little highlight on because we can. Just reaching for my RMS Living Luminizer. This is kind of like my go-to on minimal makeup days, and I would definitely say aside from the bolder lip, this is definitely a minimal makeup day. This is everything that I'm looking for for summer, kind of that blushy, glowy, it's my skin, my real skin, sort of, I, mm, these are gonna go into high rotation instantaneously. I really like these. I am curious how long they wear. I'm curious whether, um, I'm wearing such a really light layer of a tinted, you know, moisturizer and a light, the hint, barest hint of powder today. I wonder how these work when I have like cons corrector, concealer, you know, matte foundation, a powder, maybe two or three different powders, and then this, I don't know. I don't know, I would be curious how these go over like a powder bronzer, or do they work well with a um, powder highlight? I would be super curious. I'm gonna have to let you know how these go, but so far, oh, my heart. I'm really excited to continue playing with these. I would love to know if you have seen these, if you've been interested at all. Of course, since I have fallen hard for liquid and cream products, I was like, yes, get them all, get the set. So I wanted to try all of them, but I definitely like knowing I'm going to be able to continue reaching for all of them because even the really intense shade and the nude shade just look so pretty on the skin and they'll allow me some of that flexibility, especially if I start like cocktailing them together to get my own customized color. Let me know if you've seen these, if you've been curious about them. Also, let me know if you have a favorite blush shade. I tend to live very solidly in this pinky peach situation, but I like kind of where, what I, it looks so effortless with this more really nude. I don't have a lot of nude blushes. I do have a few more of these more intense blushes, but this is my like, safe zone. <laughs> Let me know what your favorite tone of blush is and if you're planning on picking these up. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being subscribed. Please subscribe if you haven't and I will see you again soon.